guys, welcome back to another vlog. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but the lighting isn't that great because I don't have my lights set up. Usually when I film here, I have like additional lighting and this is just the lighting in my apartment. So I hope you guys don't mind. Um, but yeah, welcome back to another vlog. I don't really know what I'm going to get up to in today's vlog. We're back under lockdown here in Melbourne, but it's only five days, so it's not too bad. And you guys know that I like staying home anyway. Um, so yeah, I just made myself a green smoothie. Also in today's vlog, I will be announcing the winner for the Coast Dunk. So I hope you guys are excited. I'm really, really excited. I wish that I could pick more than one of you guys, but I only decided to give away one pair of sneakers. So I'm thinking of doing maybe a giveaway every month because yeah, I just feel like you guys would really enjoy that. So let me think about that and let me think of what I can give away next, but I will be announcing the winner in this vlog. So I hope you guys stay tuned. Um, and yeah, what else am I doing today? Not very much. I may go to the supermarket. Uh, again, I don't know if you guys want to see that, but I will probably bring you along with me because I need to buy coconut water. I usually make my green smoothies with coconut water, but I ran out. Well, I had one carton in my like fridge and I thought it was a new carton, but then I think I opened it and then I forgot about it. And then I can't remember when I opened it, so I don't know whether it's any good. So I was too afraid to drink it. So I just made my green smoothie with water today. So what's in here is frozen banana, mango, passion fruit, uh, spinach, ginger, lemon, and water. So it's pretty simple. Um, I already had my breakfast earlier today, but then I felt a little bit hungry and I don't know what to have for lunch So I just decided to make a green smoothie because I am planning on cooking a hello fresh today because my box Arrived today and so far I have to say that I've really been enjoying the hello fresh boxes So yeah, that is my plan for today. Maybe go to a supermarket Probably make a hello fresh announce the giveaway winner uh, And yeah, I haven't picked up anything new to show you guys. Well, actually I have a Revolve parcel that I want to show you guys in a bit. But anyway, let me drink my smoothie. I haven't tasted this. I hope it's good. It's very sour. <laughs> I may have put too much lemon in there and the passion fruit as well is really sour. Mm. I have to say, not the best green smoothie <laughs> I have made. By the way guys, I don't know if you can see this like little red mark on my face. So I woke up with these bug bites on my face the other day. Well, there's one on my face and then there's a few on my feet and they just appeared when I woke up. So then I Google like different kinds of bug bites because I wanted to figure out what kind of bites these were and then I freaked myself out because it said like if you woke up with bites um, it could be bed bugs or it could be mosquitoes right and then I was thinking like well I live in an apartment I don't feel like there's gonna be any mosquitoes but I was like could it be bed bugs so I became a little bit paranoid that they might be bed bugs so I washed every single thing on my bed like took out everything and washed it and then I started checking my mattress because they said if you could see bed bugs they leave little brown spots or something I don't know and then also they said if they're bed bug bites you would have like like th like a few in a row but then I only have one on my face and then like maybe two on my feet so I don't know what I was thinking but then I got like a little bit scared that they might be bed bugs but I don't think it is because I haven't had any more bites um, since then and then I started looking again at different kind of bug bites and I was thinking like could it be a spider I don't know guys they're just like super itchy so yeah I don't know if it's like a mosquito bite is it a spider bite and it's still here so it's been a few days now and the one on my feet is like quite swollen and like really really itchy <sighs> I don't even know why I'm telling you guys about my little <laughs> bed bug bite whatever insect bite this is but yeah I get like quite scared of bugs so yeah anyway I'm gonna drink my green smoothie and then we're going to open a parcel in a little bit so that green smoothie was not very good <laughs> so I'm glad I finished it and hopefully there's not like bits of passion fruit stuck in my teeth but 
if there is, you guys need to tell me, okay? Um, but yeah, anyway, I want to open this parcel. So I got this from Revolve and I can't quite remember what I got. Their shipping is quite fast, but then I don't know. I feel like I kept changing my mind on what I wanted. I ended up with, I'm just checking. Oh, now I remember, sorry. <laughs> I'm just looking at my box. So I have four items in here. Is it weird that I'm vlogging in my robe? I'm just at home, but I'm gonna get changed in a bit. I really love this off-white robe. Also, I just wanna mention that I usually list and link everything that I'm wearing in the description bar. So if you guys are interested, you should definitely check it out. I will remember to link this off-white robe because I just think it looks really nice and it's really cozy, but Back to what I picked up from Revolve. I got this sort of like faux leather shirt and on the website it looked really cool. So wait, is this faux leather? It has to be faux leather. It is really soft. I did not expect it to feel that nice. So it is sort of this crop shirt in this faux leather material. And this is from the brand called La Cut Look. Lacadamia. <laughs> I'm doing a terrible job at pronouncing that, but just, okay, you guys saw the label. I got this in a size small, and maybe I'll do a little try on later, but I just thought this looked super cool, and I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe. And then I also got this top, so this is from a brand called Super Down, and this a blue sort of satin material top. Look at this, isn't it cute? So it has this little like bow tie details on the like shoulders and then also on the center and, and you can see that it's two tones of blue and I bought this with the Coast Dunks in mind because I feel like it would pair really well if you were to wear like white pants and have this little top and it's a little bit more like dressy compared to what I usually wear. And then the next thing is probably what you guys are used to seeing me in. I bought this little cozy set and I can't remember what the brand was for this, but I just saw this color and I just thought it looked really nice. So the brand is 637 and I pretty much got this oversized jumper and it did say on the website that it fits quite oversized and it does look pretty oversized, look at this. This is an extra small. I'm glad that I didn't go for the size small. Um, and then I got these matching shorts, but I picked it because I just love the color. Like it just looks like this really nice like pistachio ice cream kind of color, like mint ice cream. Guys, I've been really into mint ice cream lately. I'm still on this like phase and I just want to have mint ice cream all the time. It's super random. I bought strawberry ice cream the other day and then I just have it in my freezer and I don't even really want it. But anyway, why am I talking about ice cream? Yes, back to these shorts. I've been really into this sort of sweatpants material kind of shorts. And I just feel like this would look really great even if I had my foam runners. Wait, I did have my foam runners, look. I had them here. I actually had them on and then I just took them off for a little bit. But imagine how good these will look with like foam runners or really any kind of sneakers. I think it's just such a nice cozy casual outfit like you can wear these at home and of course you can wear these out as well i kind of want to wear this outfit today but it is quite a hot day it is 30 degrees today and it's not that warm in my apartment that's why i can still wear like my bathrobe and stuff but i feel like it's pretty warm it's nice and sunny outside so i don't think it's appropriate for me to be wearing this little outfit but yeah i feel like i should do a try on for you guys should we do it? okay let's do that so outfit number one is definitely up my alley because you guys can see it is nice and cozy and comfy. The sweatshirt I have in a size extra small and you can see how oversized it is on me already. With the shorts it is a size small so I would say that the shorts are quite true to size but the sweatshirt is definitely oversized but I just love the color and the cut of these and I think they look great even with my foam runners I feel like it is such a vibe and also please ignore that one sad little stalk of rose <laughs> that I bought for myself. I actually bought it for myself 
um, from the supermarket from Woolies. This is $10, okay? And I bought it just to take a photo for Instagram on Valentine's Day. And initially it had leaves and it all fell off. But anyway, I wish I could wear this out today, but it is too warm for me to wear this. I want to see what other colors they have. But yeah, this is outfit number one. Let me try the other item. So the second item is that faux leather shirt and I think it looks pretty cool but as you guys can see it's pretty cropped so I don't really know how to sell it just yet. I think I plan on wearing this like as an over shirt. Of course you can just wear it just as it is like as a shirt and maybe like a nice little skirt and I just have like a tan tank top thing underneath but yeah I need to play around with this a little bit more. I think it's quite cool. I don't have anything like this in my collection and it is really nice and soft. It's a little bit too warm <laughs> for today's weather but I think when the weather does get a little bit cooler I will Will definitely be wearing this a little bit more and the very last item is this tie front top I am wearing my Uniqlo linen shirt on top as well as these rain pants and my coast dunks and like I said I pretty much bought this top with the coast dunk in mind because I feel like it is the perfect color match and this top is quite feminine obviously <laughs> again very different from what I usually wear but I feel like this would definitely look quite good like like for Instagram in photos and stuff and yeah it does have this little like tie detail on the shoulders as well but I just put this over shirt on top because I just feel like it's a lot <laughs> going on um, but yeah guys anyway I'm gonna get changed and then we're gonna head out in a little bit so I just got changed to head out so this is my very casual supermarket outfit it's quite similar to what I wore in my last vlog because I am wearing the same shorts from Glassons I am wearing my medium curry dunks because look at them this colorway is so good and then with my top I'm just wearing this ambush t-shirt that I've shown you guys before I'm pretty sure my far-fetched discount code still works I'll make sure to leave it down below so you guys can get the same t-shirt because yeah look at it I feel like I could probably go for a size one though I have this in a size two and it is actually quite long so I have it tucked in and then I have my supreme tote bag because I'm going to the supermarket so I want like a big bag so I can carry all my stuff in here so that's why I'm carrying this bag today so yeah let's head out actually you know what they have this bag in like a lilac color and I feel like it would look so good with what I have on currently but anyway that was super random I do not need a lilac <laughs> supreme supermarket bag but anyway let's go that many things and I feel like I could have because I'm carrying such a big bag today I could have like carried more things but it was pretty warm um, so I'm glad I'm back home now with me wash my hands I'm back and well I'm not going to do like a supermarket haul you guys pretty much saw some of the things I bought but I want to tell you guys that I'm in this mint ice cream like obsession currently and all I want to do is have mint ice cream I don't want any other flavors so I ended up buying this Harry's ice cream it says peppermint brownie sorry <laughs> I almost dropped it and I'm just gonna try it it was on sale I think it was like four dollars or something and yeah I just saw mint that's why I was just like all right I'm gonna try it so yeah I picked up a few other things I even bought this macadamia shortbread bites because again it was on sale hold on let me put this ice cream in the freezer but yeah guys so let's do a quick taste test after this, I think I'm gonna make my HelloFresh box. It is 4.56, so it's almost five. And I'm one of those people that eat dinner really early. Like, I try and have dinner at around six or so. So I think I can start like 
getting ready, not getting ready for dinner. I can start making dinner shortly, but let's try this and see if it's any good. It's actually not too bad because I feel like when you buy store-bought shortbread, it just tastes very like store-bought. Does that make any sense? I think shortbread is something really easy to make, but I haven't been baking recently. So I saw this and it just sounded really good because I love macadamia. So I decided to try it. It's not bad. I mean, it's not something that I would run out and go buy, but it was on sale for like a dollar something. So for a dollar something, I would say it's pretty good. And I saw a bunch of different flavors as well. But anyway, guys, let me <laughs> put my stuff away and then we can cook dinner in a little bit. So I'm going to have the spiced chicken and garlic lentil frike. I don't know whether I'm pronouncing that correctly. I told you guys that I was going to start cooking earlier and then I got carried away with editing and it's now 6.30. You guys can see the time on my oven and I also changed my t-shirt because I didn't want my ambush t-shirt to get dirty while I'm cooking just in case like you know a bit clumsy so I don't want to get that dirty so yeah let me get started with this and I'll definitely show you guys the final outcome um, it says that it would take 40 to 50 minutes <laughs> I should have started earlier okay um, Let's just start cooking right now. <laughs> so the first thing I need to do is cook the frike. So have all my ingredients in this bag. Look at this. Oh, wait, you can't even see. I love how everything is so well packaged and everything is um, recyclable. As <gasps> oh no, I just spilled this everywhere. I just kind of ripped this open. Um, but the first thing I need to do is cook the grains. And then, oh no, look at my cucumber. Can I still use it? Like it's so cracked, but it's okay. I actually have my own cucumber in the fridge, so I might end up using that one. All right, okay. Guys, I feel like I'm paranoid. Maybe I just have mosquitoes in my apartment or something. Like, why do I feel a little bit itchy? But anyway, okay, let's get to cooking. <laughs> is done and I don't know how long it took me to make this it is now 7 45 I don't think it would have taken that long if I wasn't trying to film it if that makes any sense it actually smells really good and I can't wait to try this but I also have my hot sauce ready because you guys know that I love anything spicy so I got this a while ago but before I put the hot sauce in let me just give this a quick taste test and i love how there's so many like good fresh ingredients in here and i feel like this is a fairly healthy meal okay let me give this a go mm. i know i only had one bite but it is so good there's so many different textures and i love how there's such a good mix of like veggies and grains and the chicken and yeah, I love it. So anyway, I'm gonna enjoy my dinner, guys. My camera is telling me that it's out of battery because I took so long trying to film that just now. So I'll see you guys later. So this is the moment that all of you guys have been waiting for. I'm going to be announcing the winner for these coast dunks. And first of all, I just want to thank all of you guys who entered the giveaway. They were so many people who entered and I wish I could pick more than one winner but I only have one pair of dunks to give away this time around so 
in the future I will try and include a range of sizes I want to do men's sizes also smaller sizes because this time I only have a men's six and a half to give away which is my size so keep an eye out I am planning on doing more giveaways in the future and making it sort of a monthly kind of thing and I could be giving away dunks or Yeezys or clothing it just really depends on what I can cop at that time but today we are here to announce the winner for these coast dunks and the winner is I feel like I need some sort of like drum roll or something but the winner is Vivian Xia, congratulations! I hope you enjoy these dunks as much as I do. You know, I already have a pair of my own, so I really hope you enjoy these. I will send you a DM shortly to get your details and I will ship them out to you immediately. But yeah guys, thank you again for entering my giveaway and please don't feel discouraged if you didn't win this time around because you will definitely get an opportunity in the future because like I said, I will be doing more giveaways in the future. And yeah guys, uh, I just want to thank all of you guys who are new to my channel and also those of you guys that have been subscribed for a while now. I really appreciate all of you and for leaving such positive comments comments all the time and I just want to tell you guys I love you so much and that is why I want to do more giveaways in the future so that you guys get a chance to you know get sneakers that are quite hard to obtain obviously it's not easy for me to obtain either but I do my best and I try to cop what I can so in the future I want to do different sizes so I will definitely do like men's sizes as well so that you guys get a chance to cop a pair of sneakers that you might not have gotten yourself okay I don't know where I'm going with this guys but anyway congratulations again to Vivian I hope you enjoy these and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. If you are not subscribed to my channel, make sure you have subscribed so you don't miss out on any new content or any future giveaways. I think that's pretty much it for me today, guys. Uh, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.